Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a 2020 Volvo XC60 inscription in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front underneath the hood, you'll find a turbocharged and supercharged 2 liter 4 cylinder engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 316 horsepower, 200 and 95 pound-foot of torque. Up front, of course, we have LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, and fog lights. And if you look across the front bumper, you'll find little round nodules. Those are your front parking sensors. Right underneath and on the front logo is your front-facing camera. As you move along to the side here, we have the alloy wheels, and your side mirrors have integrated turn signals and additional cameras on the bottom on both sides. All of the rear windows do come with factory tinting, and up top you'll find your silver roof rails. As you look across your rear bumper, we have more of those backup parking sensors, and under the rear logo is your backup camera. If you want to access your cargo space back here, if you look underneath the L, you'll find a little handle release. Press the button, and it will automatically lift up. Taking a look back here, you see that we do have the factory carpeted mats in their packaging from the original factory. Your second row seating has a 60-40 split on the left-hand side. Your seats are adjustable using releases on the outside corners, and this middle section is also able to be accessed independently. We also have the interior cargo cover, which is stretched across the back here. You can simply reach in, pull it down, adjust it to your likings, or if you want to pull it fully out, you can slide it rack right back into place. When it is up, it helps protect the privacy of anything you have stored in your rear cargo space here from anybody trying to look in. On the left-hand side, you will find a little bit of extra storage space with this adjustable mesh pouch lining, as well as a 12-volt adapter. And then if you're looking for your spare tire, simply look down. If you lift up this initial mat, you will find a little handle. Press down, lift up, everything you need will be stored right underneath. Then to bring the hatch back down, there are handles on either side. There is a kick sensor accessible, and on the left you have the option for the electronic button. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So in the back here, you'll find that your internal upholstery is this lovely brown leatherette. It has this slight texturing on it and matching brown stitching. Rear passengers have access to a folding down armrest slash cup holder. If you fold it down, you'll find it has additional storage spaces inside this little tray and then the cup holders pop in and pop back out. Folds away to increase your seating space. We also have a great view of the panoramic moonroof overhead that stretches from front to back. On the back of both the front passenger and front driver's seat, there is the mesh pouch storages. And on the back of the console, you'll actually find the independent controls for the rear air conditioning as well as rear heated seats. And then charger spaces down below. Currently, we have the rubber mats throughout the unit. Good amount of storage inside your door there. Then if you take a look at any of your handles, you'll find this little divot. This indicates keyless entry. If you have the fob on your person, you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside the driver's door compartment, of course you have the power windows for front and back, as well as your child safety lock, your side mirror controls, and if you press the two sides down at the same time, it will allow you to fold your mirrors in flat with the body of your vehicle. Above that, you have your power lock system and your memory seat settings. Which means, of course, electronic seat adjustments, back front, up, down, lumbar support, and then you have your hood release latch on the inside corner on the left-hand side of your dash. Above that, the controls for the dash brightness and the automatic trunk release. We also have this lovely wood trim with this uh, metallic trimming that you'll find all throughout the cab space here. Let's hop inside and take a look at the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, this is where you have the controls for your adaptive cruise control, including the ability to control the sonar. On the right-hand side, you have hands-free communication and then all the controls for your dash display. And then if you look up top here, you'll find this little black cutout. This will correlate with the zero and the 50 if you look next to that tire there. This is your heads-up display. It helps to project both your current speed and the area's speed 
expectancy so that you don't have to keep your eyes off the road going back and forth or wondering what speed you're supposed to be going. You can just keep your eyes on the road and always know what is going on. Then if you look in the middle here, you have this big, huge infotainment display screen. This is where you access much of the information about your daily driving experience. There's tons of different things. You have all of your audio listening, it includes AM, FM, and satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity, and optional adapters for USB and aux. We also have lots of sound options, all of your messaging, car performance information, and access to the web, including wiki location, weather, and Yelp. Then moving over, you have your access to the built-in navigation system. Then you have, if you go over, whoops, one more time, you have access to more of your driving information, such as your lane keeping and parking assist, automatic start and off, as well as your full surround view camera system. Give that a press and you have tons of different options for how to view everything around you. We do have this door open so it is blacked out at the moment, but you do have tons of different options so you're never in the dark. You also have your settings up top here for your car, sound, navigation, media, communications, climate, and overall system. And then your general owner's manual is included through your infotainment display screen. You don't have to go shuffling through all of your different storage compartments in order to find what you're looking for. Easily accessible. And then your general owner's profile, which you can have up to three of and then also have a guest option. Press this button if you're looking to go back to the general home screen. And then on the bottom here is where you have all of your climate control options, including the ability to control, of course, your rear climates. In through here, we also find your both heated and cooled front seats. They have three variant levels each and have little colored ticks next to them to show which one you're using, as well as, of course, the heated leather steering wheel, which also has three heating levels. This is the same for your passenger side, just minus the steering wheel. And then we have the independently controllable temperatures. You can also synchronize them up so that both sides work together, or you can do it independently so that you can each have your own unique temperature settings. Underneath that, this is where you have easy access to your defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as general tune scrolling for your radio, your four ways, and then this is your volume controls. Then looking down from there, this is where you have your gear shift, has that leather bottom. Your push start is actually a twist style. So if you hold your foot on the brake, simply twist it over, it'll start running. Same thing, just twist it and it will turn off. Driving mode and then your parking brakes. And then all of this middle section is hidden storage spaces. Lots of cup holder options, places for your phone, and a 12 volt adapter right up top there. In your console space, you'll find additional chargers. And then looking up overhead on your rearview mirror, it of course has your directions displayed here. But then you'll also find these controls with one, two, or three little dots or nubs on them. Those are garage door openers. Above that, you have your SOS button, overhead lighting controls, and in the middle is your controls for your panoramic moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this 2020 Volvo XC60 inscription in the color white. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.